Alright, so let's build this uh, Flybot Flux. The build is very, very straightforward. Before I do the time lapse, I would like to describe how things will go. Uh, for the wings, it's very simple. We have to add two of these carbon rods with glue, of course, here. And one of the carbon bars will go here with glue, of course. All right. And after that, on the front side, we have to add a servo, all right? And don't forget, we have to add the ailerons, all right? Um, and also the winglets, which will fit right here using two screws. So this will form the wing. And we also have to uh, tape the whole aileron because these are milled wood and very very fine and nice soft wood it will break very very easily upon impacts or touchdown it will scratch off so we have to tape it I don't have the special tape I'm thinking to go with this one either or I do have one buster tape huh? <laughs> sorry for the word uh, that is especially for RC and especially to join and make ailerons using that tape I'll show you that tape very very soon so this will form the wing and after that we will add these uh, connecting rods to the servo, servo horns and of course the horns for the uh, connecting rods on the ailerons. Now after that comes the fuselage. Fuselage also is very very simple. All we need to do is use the supplied pillars, lots of pillars to build it together. The motor mount will go at the back and the motor will fit at the back. Then we have these little mounts that you will see uh, during the time-lapse build. These will basically go under the bottom plate. So this is top plate, bottom plate. Under the bottom plate, we will have these uh, built just like this. So that this one will actually hold the uh, carbon fiber rod right here. Okay, this one will hold the carbon fiber right, which will be stuck to the wing. And that's how you will secure the wing. So this with the screws all will form this way under, okay, under, once again under, because on top there will be another plate. All right, so just put it under my hands right here. So on top there will be another plate. I hope this is very, very simple and easy to understand. Similarly, we will make another of this uh, at the back side here facing forward. Now these things, you can actually move them because there are lots of holes. You can move them forward and backward uh, depending on your battery that you are going to use so you can set your CG right. For now, I will just go with the user manual as the user manual says. Don't forget that the camera mount will be at the front. You have to decide if this goes inward or outward depending on the width of your camera, FPV camera that you're going to use. There's all, they also supplied the extension cables for your servos should you want to use you can use them. So this is pretty straightforward. Let us start uh, the build for this plan in the time lapse. I have my Kashmiri cow already. Mm. Ah, man, this is good. Man, I regret bringing it uh, only one pack. I should have brought more packs. All right, let the work begin.
right, people, check this out. The build was fairly easy, uh, nothing difficult in this. And it looks like a sweet wing, man. I have installed the Firefly Fortress all in one FPV system, and this video transmitter I will actually install after the battery to see where I can actually put it right. And I will install the antenna mount as well after that. Uh, for now, the only thing left is to connect the ESC to motor. I still have to add an XT60 connector here, and after that, I will install the ESC inside. That is going to be super easy. Um, then we have to power it on and check the motor rotation after installing the receiver and connecting the servo. We'll have to center the servos, and then we are going to add the connecting rods. And after that, leaves only the radio control setup, okay, and propeller installation. Then we will go and give it a flight. So far, it looks like a neat and clean setup. Uh, here you can tighten these screws, or uh, don't tighten too much if you are worried about crashing a lot. So tighten enough that the wings stay together and if something happens uh, when you get a crash the wings will simply snap off without breaking anything also you need to make sure that when you install the uh, when you connect the uh, wing uh, servos make sure you file the connectors and also using the servo extension cables you can actually uh, file these uh, connectors right here for from the servos so they will fit nicely okay nice and firm they will not come out during the flight but they will also be easy to come off should you crash the plane and the wings detach you need to make sure that the servo cables don't break but they disconnect so that is the actually concept behind this plane that when you crash the central fuselage will simply come off and save your expensive gear you can always attach the wings again to the fuselage and fly also it makes it very easy to carry around because you can detach the wings and you know carry everything very easily in a small size all right so this is ready now let me do the remaining setup and then we'll go give it a flight. Okay, sorry for the messy table, but everything is set up. Now I just have to tuck things in and this thing is ready to fly. The CG balancing was uh, going a little bit too tail heavy. So I had to move those uh, wing mounts a little bit backward to make the nose go a bit forward. Now I can put the battery right here and balance the CG perfectly. I still have an HD camera to install so I can still move the battery slightly backward. Now that the plane is set up this thing is going to actually scream. Um, setting up the connecting rods was honestly speaking a little bit of trouble because the forward side here they have uh, screws so you can actually put those uh, connectors on but at the back side you have to cut the connecting rod and use um, you know super glue to glue these ones and that takes a little bit of experimentation but I'm happy that everything is perfectly flushed this one is slightly lowered but I can always adjust it a bit more now if we power the baby on just to hear the sound and check surface is all good and check the propeller keep my hand really clear because this thing screams and here we go <laughs> Man, there is a lot of thrust right here, and this battery is not fully charged. There is a lot of thrust on such a small propeller. Awesome, this thing is ready, and I just need to tuck this in, and let's go fly, shall we? Damn it, this thing is... Eww. I don't know what to say. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. 
I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right